Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'll show you how you can set up PHP server and how you can serve PHP websites from within Visual Studio Code. So I have the simple page here, login.html and login.php does some authentication and if the log user is logged in, it is then redirecting to welcome.php. Okay, so by default, if I just right click and click on open in default browser, this page will open up and if I type something here, demo and demo and anything as password it will redirect to login.php but php is not working it is just displaying the code as this so how can we fix this now go back to your visual studio code and first thing you need to do is install php now since this is about php servers i'm assuming you already have php installed if php is not installed in your visual studio code check the link in the description and you will see how you can set up php in visual studio code once you have php installed you can click on this extensions and search for live server not live server, PHP server. And you'll get this from Brafifra. This is the username, right? And just click on install. And now, as you can see, this is installed quickly and you can now close this. And now you are in your login.html or you can go to any page or you can go to your, you know, entry page. So in my case, login.html can be assumed my home page. So I'm here. Now you can just right click here and click on PHP server server project. Once you click on this, Visual Studio Code will create a PHP server and it will start executing that PHP file. So if I just write demo and demo three now and hit enter, as you can see, it has been redirected to login.php and login.php then redirected to welcome.php. So this is how you can set up PHP server. You just install that extension. Now, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.